Salut à tous, salut à tous les amis, c'est Roro 945, j'espère que vous allez bien. Nous nous retrouvons pour l'épisode 18 sur Robocop Rock City. On s'était arrêté la dernière fois où on avait fait une quête annexe. Il y en avait encore une autre que j'ai fini en off qui nous demandait eh bien, de relever euh, certaines infractions. Il y en avait 6 euh, au total, on en avait déjà fait la moitié. Euh, donc j'ai fait les trois, ça n'a pas été très très euh, long à, à trouver et à, à faire. Et maintenant on va pouvoir se remettre dans la quête principale les amis. Spike dans une boîte de foin. Spike est devenu la piste numéro 1 dans l'enquête sur Wendell Andonovski. Allez parler à Pickles pour trouver des, des informations sur l'endroit où se trouve Spike. Mais avant cela, retrouver le grand patron dans l'une des ruines du Vieux Détroit. Bien que son invitation soit un honneur, ses véritables intentions sont incertaines. Voilà les amis, et je vois que nous avons un point de compétence, donc on va aller eh bien, euh, utiliser ça. Alors il y avait soit ça, soit ça. Euh... On va me mettre là-dedans. Et après, je pense que on ira, euh, on ira améliorer un peu plus l'armure ou les trucs comme ça. Et avant de continuer cette vidéo, les amis, n'oubliez pas le petit j'aime, le petit commentaire, abonnez-vous à la chaîne si ce n'est pas encore fait, activez bien les notifications pour ne pas louper les prochaines vidéos. Et c'est parti les amis, continuons l'aventure et bonne vidéo à vous Il n'y a rien à... à récupérer éventuellement par ici. Hop, hop, hop. Ok. Donc, le grand patron de l'ECP nous attend. to see you my boy leave us I want to talk to him in private you have to excuse me for not getting up I'm in a rather unfortunate state you did exceptional work at the bank I want you to know that I am deeply grateful for your service to OCP and the city of Detroit see I grew up in this very apartment, or what's left of it. It used to be a thriving neighborhood, nothing like what you see right now. I always dreamt of turning it into the most prosperous district in the city, a new heart of Detroit. Can you imagine? Or do you think it's just an old fool's pipe dream? I agree with all city improvement plans that have the citizens' well-being in mind. Glad to know you approve. Delta City's construction is about to start. Finally, the old and frail will be replaced with the new and strong. Decay and death are terrible things. You lose everything you worked for your entire life. 
But I don't have to tell you what that's like. It really makes me wonder, has the time you spent in that armor been a burden to you? You cannot complain about the life that was granted to you. That's very humble of you. The real reason I've summoned you here is because I'm worried. I'm aware of your instability problems, and it's not a matter that we can overlook. That's why I've requested to have people look after you. Tell me, how are you finding your evaluations with Dr. Blanche? It helps me with perspective, but it also brings out things buried. That's part of the recovery process. I can imagine it's not a pleasant experience, but I can't express how much I'd like you to keep at it. I'm sure that becoming a liability is the last thing you'd want. Am I right? That is correct. Now we've reached an understanding. Tell me. Is there anything I could do to put your mind at ease? Hmm. My partner has been severely wounded and is being treated at Gibson Memorial Hospital. I'll make sure she gets the best care there is. Thank you. I have to say, you brought a lot of hope into this old man's heart. Now, excuse me. I'm not supposed to exert myself too much. <laughs> Doctor's orders. And you can't argue with them. Take care of yourself. After all, the peace of Detroit depends on your well-being. Ok. Holy shit, what was that? Robocop. Not such a piece of junk after all. Eh ouais les gars. Si vous croyez. Bon, vous tournez dans la rue. Donc on a agi dans le sens de Lewis. Enfin, J'espère que n'ayant pas intervenu pour nos collègues. Eh bien, ça va pas nous empêcher, par exemple, d'avoir des renforts un peu plus tard ou... ou autre. On verra bien. This owner didn't need this jacket anymore. It has no bullet holes. Greetings. Waiting for the movie screening. Just browsing to find which movie would most enhance my nuke experience. Has working with the police not made you change your ways? 
I need to keep up appearances. Otherwise, I wouldn't be much use as an informer, now would I? Now, tell me, what's the next job for the police's finest duo? I need information on Spike's whereabouts. That SOB. I'll never forgive him for what he did to Briggs. Luckily, there ain't much left of the street vultures after the bank heist. They're probably laying low. But now you mention it, I heard about a biker who had a crash near the riverbank just behind the mart. So, your best bet is to check out the scene of the accident, or maybe hit up a nearby mechanic to see if they know anything. You really want justice for Briggs? We owe him. But it's more about Daniel and Gail. And I think everyone will sleep better once those butchers are taken care of. Any witnesses? Ah, uh, there's this crazy old bum who hangs out around there. He's nosy. Maybe he could help. Are you positive that he escaped on the damaged motorcycle? <laughs> Not so much on it as with it. From what I gathered, the bike suffered more than just a dent. I'm guessing he must have dragged it to some nearby mechanic to get it back in shape. I think Ben's shop is the closest. Thank you. You have given me all I need. I, I know you're busy, but there's something that I need your help with. I will not be involved in any illegal activity. <laughs> That's very presumptuous of you. I just need help finding a VHS tape in the rental place across the street. The title slipped my mind, and I assume you've got like a database or something in your head that'll make looking for it a breeze. So what do you say? Will you help me look for it? If it helps you stay out of trouble, let us proceed. Yeah, it'll solve all my problems. Let's go! Okay, my buddy, they are. So there's this movie about a guy with a gun, and there's this bad guy who wants something. I'm pretty sure the title has some biblical reference in it. You lack vital information on the subject. Okay. Donc on va l'aider à retrouver sa, sa cassette vidéo. Okay, let's start searching. Remember, the title has something to do with the Bible, saints, uh, cosmos. Let's start by checking the thriller and drama sections. Should we ask the owner? <laughs> Forget him. He has no idea about movies. He thinks that Salamanca deserved the golden piston for the best picture. I heard that. Garden of Earthly Delights. Oh man, great movie. Very elegant. Panned by the critics though. But the director is a badass. He personally showed up to one of those ceremonies to accept the award for the worst movie of the year. We do not need to bow to outside pressure. Easier said than done, my man. It takes courage to not give in to the pressure. Yeah, it does. But hey, if that director can resist it, then why the hell can't I, right? But let's get back to it, because that's not our tape. Kind Shepherd? Love that one. You know that movie could have never happened. The director blew out the script after reading a couple of pages. Thankfully, his wife picked it out of the trash, and after reading it, she forced her husband to give it another look. Everyone deserves a second chance. Do we? I'm not so sure about that. Ça, je crois que c'est une référence justement au script de Robocop 1. Parce qu'il faut savoir que euh, Robocop 1 a été fait, a été euh, réalisé par euh, Paul Verhoeven et que de base Paul Verhoeven ne voulait pas faire ce film et je crois que c'est sa femme qui, en ayant lu le script, 
eh bien, euh, l'a poussé à... À... à le réaliser. Et ô combien elle a eu raison de le... De le... Comment dirais-je bah de le pousser à réaliser ce film. Alex Murphy a donné une seconde chance. Mais il... Je veux dire, vous avez vraiment mérité. C'est quelque chose que je ne pouvais pas dire sur beaucoup de gens. De toute façon, je ne veux pas spoiler le mood, mais ce n'est pas le tape que nous cherchons. Rien dans le film ou dans le drama. Ok, comment est-ce que vous checkez dans la section de sci-fi et d'action Je vais avoir un regard à l'horreur. Flower. Beautiful depiction of violence in that one. Do you think violence can be beautiful? It's just shown with a different sensibility to what we're used to. Maybe because the guy's European. You know how they are. It's different. It's cool, is all I'm saying. Recognizing the beauty of something ugly is a unique feature. <sighs> Doesn't pay the bills, though. Then again, I don't have bills to pay anyway. Time to occupy yourself with something meaningful. What are you talking about? I'm a street entrepreneur. I keep myself busy, thank you very much. But we're still missing our tape. Celestial Decay. Classic. Still waiting for a sequel. But the guy who did that one has never made a part two in his career. But he said that if he ever did, he'd do a sequel to that one. Uh, how do you feel about that? Sequels, remakes, comic book adaptations, etc. They give hope that there is more. Yeah. Plus, you get to meet the characters you liked again. That's why I don't hate them. Anyway, risking to sound like a broken record, that's not the tape we're looking for. Hey, I think I found it. I messed up the title a little. It's called Me, Sire, but here it is. Isn't that the tape we're looking for? Tape? What? What to? You like movies? Do you want to shoot an action movie? I, I think I'll wait till it comes out on VHS. Lights, camera, action! I need a hand over here! Do you need assistance? Is that?
Putain, ça c'est une cassette euh, de ouf. Hein. Allez, c'est parti. On va retrouver Pickle, c'est le propriétaire. Attends, avant de... Il n'y a rien d'autre Ok. Where is Pickles He ran out the back door. Where will I find him I don't know. But uh, homeless or not, you still have to give an address to get a membership card. Try the computer. Maybe you'll find something there. Alors, faut utiliser l'ordinateur. Adresse de Pickle obtenu. Jet Street, troisième étage. Dernière cassette louée. Tendre, cornichon et friandise. Parti en sprint. Le banjo contre-attaque. Le ton, la brute, le gluant. La riposte des minous cruels. Ok. Bon. Donc on n'a pas le choix que de sortir par là. Ok, c'était pour ça, là, les trois... Ok. Ok, c'est une utilisation récente. Oh, très récemment ouverte. Donc, c'est celle-là. Par à ça, toi. Talk. Ah, I overheard some torchhead saying that they were running away from the cops and went through that video store. They had a wad of drug money on them and didn't want the cops taking it, so they hid it in one of the VHS cases. I misheard the title, so I needed help. You will need even more help for lying to me. Shit. I, I don't even know if you're joking or not. I, I fucked up. I know. And I get that you're on a mission to save my life or something. With all that great advice of yours, it takes courage. Sorry to disappoint you, Dad. But I'm lacking in that department. There's just one thing that I need right now. Which is? All I need right now is a fix. So, let me keep the money. You won't hear me asking about anything else. Are you asking a police officer to leave you with money from Nuke Distribution? I know you're a police officer first, but can't you be a friend this one fucking time? I am non. not doing this as a police officer. I am doing it as a friend. And on va pas le laisser. The case. You, you can't do this to me, man. I just did. Fuck you, Tin Man. I earned that money fair and square. 
Ouais, ouais, mais non, non, tu me baratines pas et puis euh, c'est pas bien la drogue. Ok, bon. Alors pourquoi on a, on a un autre point là Ah ok, d'accord. Bah, écoutez les amis, on va s'arrêter ici pour cette vidéo. Elle sera un peu plus courte que les autres. Mais on va s'arrêter ici. On continuera l'aventure principale dans la prochaine vidéo. Sur ce, n'oubliez pas le petit j'aime, le petit commentaire. Abonnez-vous à la chaîne si ce n'est pas encore fait. Moi je vous dis à très très bientôt les amis. Salut